We're back. No, no, really, this time, we're, we're really actually back. I promise, I swear, it's a brand new show, and you're gonna love it. It's time for Unbox Daily. Welcome back to Unbox Daily. I'm your host, Jason, and I know it's been a while since we've published. I gotta tell you, there's been a lot of changes happening over here at Unbox. We have actually decided to revamp our entire product offering. And we have just recently launched some awesome top 10 lists that you can check out right now over at Unbox.tv. You see, each week, we are collecting all of the social conversation happening on YouTube around your favorite products, tech reviewers, and unboxers. We're putting them all together and each week showing you all the different products that are trending all across YouTube. If you like what you see and you wanna check out more, hit that subscribe button. I promise you, it'll be worth your while. So today, let's dive into three of those products that we think should absolutely be on your radar. The big thing everyone is talking about right now are the new MacBook Pros for 2018. Finally, we get a refresh on everybody's favorite laptop that can't play most games. Now, we expect that when Apple releases a new product, it's gonna go to the top of everybody's list, right? On everybody's radar, they should be tracking Apple and what it's doing because nine times out of 10, they're defining what's happening in the world of tech. Well, this time, it's absolutely true, but not for the right reason. Aside from a hefty price tag, these bad boys are sporting an eighth generation processor set. i5, i7, and i9 Coffee Lake processors are finally here for your favorite Apple laptops. And I gotta tell you, I'm super excited because they're supposed to bring 70% better performance than their predecessors, except for the part that they don't. Turns out that because of a design flaw in the MacBook Pro chassis, these processors are overheating really quickly, particularly when you're doing something resource intensive. And as a result, they're underperforming badly. They're self-throttling down to speeds that, frankly, you wouldn't expect to get on a cheap gaming laptop from three years ago. So what does that mean for you Apple fanboys? Well, there's certainly a lot to dig into here, and while I'm sure that there will be some sort of fix for this in the future, it probably means that it's not leaving our lists anytime soon. Be sure to check week to week so you can find out whether the MacBook Pro stays on the top of everybody's conversation or falls to the wayside. Now, if you were to poll YouTube vloggers and ask them what is their favorite line of camera to go shooting on the fly with, they're probably gonna tell you it's the Sony RX100 series. I mean, this thing is everybody's favorite, and the Mark V has been the standard for vlogging until now. The new addition to our list is the RX100 Mark VI, which just got released and is already creating a decent amount of buzz. If you put the RX6, 5, and 4 next to one another, they pretty much look the same. Once you look closely, you're gonna see some profound and interesting differences that are absolutely worth checking out. The Mark VI has better zoom capabilities, a touch screen to make interfacing a lot easier, and, drum roll please, better heatsink capabilities. Take that, Apple. Up until this point though, the Mark VI has only been given feedback by a couple of product reviewers on YouTube. But we fully expect that as more people get their hands on it, get to try it out in real world scenarios, I fully expect this to be at the top of our cameras list in just a few weeks. You know, speaking of cameras, one of the entries to our list that you should absolutely check out, particularly if you're into sports cams but don't wanna to spend too much money, is the Yi Discovery Action Cam. Now you may not know Yi, you may not be familiar with them, but they've got a really smart little camera that keeps showing up on our lists. And I gotta ask, why? So here's the interesting thing about our lists. Even though people are making videos primarily about the GoPro Hero 2018, they keep comparing it to the e-Discovery, which is actually what elevates it on our list overall. So even if you're not seeing this on YouTube being primarily advertised, we're gonna keep surfacing cool products like this that might not be on your radar. And why shouldn't it be? The Yi Discovery Action Cam comes with some great features that frankly at a $60 price point make a lot of sense. It shoots 4K, admittedly at 20 FPS, but even still, plus you get 1080p with 60 FPS, 150 degree angle of shooting, and frankly, a boatload of great additional features for a relatively low price. Heck, it's even waterproof, IP68 rated. I mean, come on, for $60, that's a great deal. So while everybody else might be saying that they're talking about the Hero 2018, what they're really talking about is the e-discovery action cam. And where else are you gonna see that highlighted? I think right here. So we don't know whether the e-discovery action cam will stay on our list long term or not, but we do know that every time somebody makes a GoPro Hero 2018 video, it seems to come up in conversation, which should absolutely tell you something about the e-discovery cam. 
Well, that's what caught our eye for today's show. But well, we're going to be back soon highlighting more products that we're tracking all across the reviewers on YouTube. And if you like what you see and you want to check out more, head on over to the new Unbox.tv and be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. In the meantime, we'll see you back here soon. I'm your host, Jason. Have a great day.